I did uh, lose the Black Raiden, but I couldn't handle the man anyways. He was so crazy. Now, look at this guy, Dale Houston, in the ring. Like, I just can't believe this guy. What a hot dog. Well, I can tell you, Dale Houston is uh, one that handles himself pretty well in the ring. Well, he's a pretty tough guy. I'll give him credit for it. I uh, broke his he's leg. He's also pretty smart. Back. Look at him sneak out of that one. And again, and Laser Jack Smith put two elbow smashes right down on the mat. Yeah, uh, he, he uh, got them there. And I'll give Dale Houston credit. I may not like the man, but he's got a lot of wrestling skills. And I just hope there'll come a time when I can get him back in the ring and give him another severe beating. Maybe this time he won't come back to wrestling. Now, John, now John, let's yeah. not exaggerate here. You get anybody in the ring, you don't beat anybody very much. Well, Ed Carl, you know right here on national television, I gave this young upstart, Dale Houston, the lesson of his life. And uh, I'll give him credit. He uh, is a tough individual. He came back. You see him throwing some vicious punches there. Close fist punches, you might add. Something you never saw Jonathan Sayer do in his career. No, no. I'm... No, sure. I like to pit my scientific skills when I was a wrestler. No, I didn't know anybody who's believing short, anything guys. about this, this John Sayers career business. Ed Carl, I just can't believe you'd say that. When you knew what a terrific star I was, I knew it's hard to be humble when you're this good. I think I may be ill at any moment here. As you can see, getting back to the match, uh, Laser Jack Smith, he's uh, got a nerve hole. And I know from experience, they can be they can be very, very painful. And eventually, you lose the use of the arm. Well, Bruce Brown is making a break that up because, of course, he took Houston down by the trunks. I didn't see that, but uh, you seem to think he used the trunks, is that right? He certainly did, and there he's going to use them again, right there. No, I think he, he used the front face lock to bring him down, but I don't maybe think so. you're right, but I didn't see that. I know the referee didn't see John, it. John, I'm that's beginning to counts. understand why, why you wear glasses so often. It's now, starting to become clear. Now, cut that out, Ed Carl. The main thing, the referee didn't see it, and I've always been a great uh, advocate of that. Look at this. I wish the referee would see this. Well, there he has finally got over there. But and if you can it up, get away with it, I figure, go for it. You know, it's an awful job to be a referee when you've got uh, two men in the ring, never mind having six men in the ring. Yeah, uh, I've said this often. It's a very hard job, and I got a lot of respect for these referees, even though some of them are blind as bats sometimes, like the Bruce here. But, uh, you know, what can I say? Like you say, he's got six men to contend with. And, uh, As he uh, ever, and things I think are getting a little out of control already. They've really, gone Tiger to, Dory Singh. they've really gone to work on the throat of uh, Dale Houston. They dropped one elbow after another on him. And I think they've got him almost softened up now, maybe for a pin. You see a nice duplex coming. Oh, he couldn't get him up. He's going to try and power here. him up, and he can't get him. He got him up. Tiger Dory Singh could pin him at this point, I think. No, not quite. I thought Singh might have hurt his back on that when he... Uh, Tried to power up Dale Houston. Now yeah, Singh was moving kind of slowly there, unusual for Tiger Dory Singh. Yeah, he didn't follow up quite as quickly as he usually does, and I question maybe he hurt his back on that suplex because you can see he didn't get him up the first time. But you can see Ivan Gorky, the wrestling technician, the Russian technician that he is, he just picked his opponent, opponent apart. Very, wrestling very technician. good wrestler. Oh, yeah, he's a very, very good wrestler. No, oh, no, that's not exactly. I think uh, Mor Moron had a good word for him. I think he called him the human sausage. Well, you know, I found this man as a raw recruit in Russia, brought him over here, taught him English, being the uh, English scholar that I am. I taught him, uh, actually, uh, you know, Ed Carlin, I'm a multilinguist, no, no many languages. I taught him the English language. And uh, now I understand why he never fluent. speaks. Well, he doesn't like to show off all his newfound knowledge. And uh, what he's doing to Houston right there now, hanging out of his throat. Yeah, they uh, got the blind side of the referee and they just went to work on Houston. Houston's taking a lot of punishment here. and He really has, but in spite of that, look at him come off that corner. He had to dig down very deep right there for that. Dig down very deep. I think he's just got so much adrenaline pumping oh. there. He was waiting for that one. That on was Laser Jack kick. Smith. Nice kick to the back of the neck there. And again, look at him, look at him walking Laser Jack Smith over here, and down he goes. Beautiful power slam that can do it. Whoa, he he could not hang on to him. Six-man tag match, and of course, this is a duration match. Oh, 
Dale Houston using a little bit of a thumb to the throat. Don't normally see that from Dale Houston. He's really dug down deep. Showed a lot of intestinal fortitude. I'll give credit where credit's due. It kind of reminds me when I was in wrestling. That great, tremendous intestinal fortitude that you saw. Here. Reminiscent of myself, Ed Carl. I think I'm definitely going to be ill now. As you can see, uh, Laser Jack trying to get him back into the corner. Like I say, no man's land. It's a place you don't want to be. And he's got him, all right. Turning them over to Tiger Dory Singh. And the Tiger. This is about a kid. He sure takes a lot of abuse. Every time uh, I see him, he's right getting beat up. Right foot of Gorky. But he keeps coming back, so I guess he must have something. Oh, devastating. Elbow to the jaw. Gain across the ropes, watch him come. Oh, you could see that one coming, and you knew that was going to hurt. You know, I've never seen Ivan Gorky wrestle with such authority. He's like a man possessed. He's come back with more fire than I've ever seen him in at any point of his career. He's like a man possessed. I think he wants title after title, and he's here in the UWA to reign supreme. Well, i got to remind everybody, next week here on All-Star Wrestling, uh, speaking of titles, you'll see the title match, the tag team championship match, which, of course, Gorky will be on the ring along with Michelle Starr, his tag team partner, going for the belts against the new breed. Uh oh we've got... Well, you can see what's going on. Now, this is outside the ring. Boy, is he ever working him over out there. The kid got his head bounced off there, and I think it almost knocked him out. I can tell you, the only good thing I can say about this is Jonathan Sayers is not down there. I'm amazed, John. Well, Ed Carl, I like to go down to ringside to lend moral support to my wrestlers, but I certainly don't do anything that I shouldn't be doing. I always yes, stay within uh -huh. the guy. I know you the never do, John. Uh -huh. What a chop. I can hear that chop all the way down here. Yeah, right? now it's a choke. Look at that, and then onto the ropes. Oh, this is completely out of control. I, I feel for Bruce Brown, who I think is doing the best possible job he can, but my gosh. I, I, I think they probably need two referees in a match like this. I think they need three referees in a match like this. Yeah, one maybe, outside the ring. Yeah, one on the floor and maybe two in the ring, but uh, maybe I should offer my... Uh, no, that's quite all right, John. Uh, no, no, it's fine, yeah. Okay. yeah. I thought maybe they might want to use me as a no, second referee. No, I don't referee. think there's no? too much hope of that. No? Okay. The UWA does have some credibility. Well, just remember, Ed Carl, the offer's always there. Well, that's it. What a team. One, two, three, and it's gone. Ivan Gorky pins Chris the Kid Nevada. Now, that, of course, gives the team a match over to Ivan Gorky along with his uh, cohorts there, Tiger Dory Singh. And, well, we're going to go to ringside. See if we get the opportunity to have a word with, uh, what? oh, I don't know what's going on here, but this is a fella that you told me you had a little problem controlling the Black Raiden. Well, uh, yes, uh, the Black Raiden is a very, very wild wrestler. No, and I had to, he's a wild, he's a good, good, strong wrestler, and I think he's going to be on to be championship material. And I handed him over to a very capable manager who I know, the Thumper. And I know I've got a lot of respect for this man. And I know the Thumper, if anybody can handle the Black Raiden, bring him the title shots that he deserved. With John Tent, I don't have quite enough time. I'll let you talk to him. This man is champion. This man is a champion. And this man is a champion. I want to hear Me and the Thumper go a long way back. And now I'm so happy to be with him. And we just don't beat up. Oh, we come together so Oh, man, I'll talk to you. You're going to be the first one that I get. I'm, I'm sick and tired of you. What is he you're saying? He's hey. talking about how happy he's being managed by his old hey. friend, Thumper hey. So We grew up together in the streets of Hell's Kitchen, New York City. Two days back in London. Yeah. Slash Alley, Los Angeles. Yeah. Sleeping in the alley, cutting scum in newspapers. He was fighting to make a living. I was handling the money. I don't you normally talk to people know. with uh, tinfoil hair. Hey, oh, you're hey, just... hey, baby, that's what they had. This interview is terminated between me and you. Talk to the Thumper. No, I'm having a little problem making any sense out of this oh, particular God. interview. Well, you can certainly make sense the way these two men took on those, those nobodies in that last match. We could have broken any one of those guys in two, but who'd want two of them? You know what I mean? The good part of all of this is we're running out of time, but we'll be back next week on All-Star oh, Wrestling, man, everybody, where we will have a championship people. match, and it should be an interesting one. We'll be looking for you right here on All-Star Wrestling next week, everybody. Bye-bye for now.